So, not everybody can afford an image editor, but there are a lot of people that can't afford image editors that need them. So today I'm going to talk about five of my favorite image editors you can use that are absolutely free. So let's get started with the GIMP. Pretty much the old standby for cheapskates and open source enthusiasts alike, the GIMP, which stands for GNU Image Manipulator, has a long history of being the free Photoshop alternative of choice. And rightfully so. The GIMP packs a wallop in terms of features, plugins, and community support, not only compared to others on this list, but just in general. Boasting pretty much all the essential features of a retail image editor, the GIMP is anything but GIMPed in the features department. Unfortunately, as is the case with many open source applications, the UI and general look and feel leave a lot to be desired, with a confusing and cumbersome default Windows interface that feels alien and off-putting coming from Adobe's offerings. Menus and palettes that often feel cramped, even on high-res monitors, texts and titles on Windows often are cropped without manual adjustment, and just an overall lack of design coherence that most users would find unappealing. The newest version, as of this video, GIMP 2.8, has done a lot to bridge the gap in this regard, but the program still has a ways to go before it's new proof. Still, if you're looking for power above all else, GIMP is a solid option, and when you factor in its completely free price, it's hard to fault the app or the dedication in the open source community in keeping the project alive for over a decade now. Next up is MyPaint. Coming in at pretty much the complete opposite end of the spectrum, MyPaint is an image editor designed to do one thing, drawing, extremely well and with minimal clutter. With a UI designed to only be present if you need it, the majority of your time spent in MyPaint will just be you and your canvas, the toolbars and palettes tucked away with a few simple keystrokes and brought back just as easily. Conceptually too, MyPaint is a different beast than the GIMP, not trying to be an all-in-one image editing solution akin to Photoshop, but more of a dedicated drawing tool, trading in extra features for a more robust brush set designed to emulate natural media like oil paint, watercolor, charcoal, and pen and ink. If you're looking for an image editor that gives you the essentials and then just gets out of your way, MyPaint may be the program you've been looking for. Another great option is Sketchbook Express. One of the few applications on this list from a commercial vendor, Sketchbook Express is the free version of Autodesk's popular Sketchbook Pro drawing program. Similar to MyPaint in that it focuses on image creation above all else, Sketchbook differs a bit in that its UI is optimized for tablet and touchscreen usage, making it easier to use with just your tablet pen and having to fall back on keyboard shortcuts less often. Being a neutered version of a paid app though, Sketchbook Express does feel a bit starved in a few areas, with a limited selection of brushes, a finite amount of layers, and a general sense of feature incompletion that I'm sure Autodesk is hoping will prompt you to spring for the full version. Regardless, the fit and finish that comes with being a commercial product gives Sketchbook Express a leg up over the competition, and if your drawing needs are simple, or if you're just starting out, this may be the app you've been looking for. Next up is Sumo Paint. A unique entry on this list, Sumo Paint takes a completely different approach in terms of distribution of its software, with the entire application being run inside of a browser window. Don't let its web app status or silly name fool you though, Sumo Paint surprised me with its robust feature set, including the ability to save and open images locally saved on your desktop, and a toolbox, filter, adjustment, and layer effect options comparable to Photoshop. On top of that, the UI will feel very comfortable for Photoshop users, and as a result, I was able to pick up the software quickly. Still more weighted towards a drawing app, Sumo Paint lacks a lot of the image editing features that Photoshop boasts, but makes up for it with some genuinely useful tricks of its own, such as the ability to quickly add effects to your brush itself and not just the layer you're painting on, allowing for you to mix and match effects on a single layer. My biggest issue with Sumo Paint though is its seemingly inability to support pressure sensitivity on a tablet, making it a non-starter for most people. A quick Google search makes it look like this feature was indeed implemented, but I have no idea how to enable it. Maybe some more in-depth testing would uncover it. Regardless, Sumo Paint also offers a companion mobile app and a premium version that unlocks extra features, including an offline download of their app when you aren't connected to the web. And maybe pressure sensitivity, who knows? While a bit of a different beast, Sumo Paint is a great option for those that juggle multiple computers, only have access to a system that isn't actually theirs, or use Chrome OS, which can only use web apps anyway. Regardless, its power belies its home online and is worth considering regardless of your setup. And at number five is Mischief Free. More of an interesting curiosity, the free version of Mischief is closer to a trial than anything else, not supporting more than one layer and a very limited tool set. Its one trick up its sleeve though is intriguing, an infinite canvas that supports a near limitless zoom either in or out, combining the simplicity of working with raster graphics with the crisp non-degradation of vectors. This allows Mischief's workflow possibilities all its own, and depending on your preference may be exactly the kind of flexibility you've been looking for. 
So there you have it, my top five favorite free drawing apps for you to play around with if you don't have a budget. My name is Tom Oliver and you've been watching Rebel Pixels, the channel dedicated to helping indie creators and DIY artists express themselves to the best of their ability here on the internet. If that's you, if you live and die by your art and you want to join the rebellion, click that subscribe button below and join the family. I'm discussing new topics like this every week when it comes to creativity and DIY expression. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I think you'll find a lot to like here. What are your favorite free drawing applications? There's a ton of them out there, and while these are the five that I'm most familiar with, there are tons of others I'm sure that I've probably never even heard of. So if you have suggestions you think are even better than the ones I've mentioned, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking to try out new applications to have some fun with. So, till next week, my name is Tom Oliver, this is Rebel Pixels, I just wanted to remind you guys that we might be indie, but that doesn't mean we're alone. I'll catch you all next week.